Hi friends, this is Monica from Monica Gupta Fine Art. Um, this is my little studio and it is a little messy right now, but I hope that's okay. Today I want to talk about how to unleash the artist within. Basically how to start drawing and painting if that is something that you want to do. Um, I'm basing this based on several comments and questions I, re I receive over the past few days where you know my friends or some other people have come to me and asked me how can they start drawing um you know there are many people whom i know who love to draw or who have been drawing as a kid and they love that experience but over the period of time they have just not continued this practice and now you know they are lost or there are people who you know want to who have been drawing but they want to learn new skills and they don't know where to start so um i um thought of putting some tips together based on my experience uh, so you know if you are looking to start drawing and painting i've put together a list of three tips that i think will be really useful and really helpful so you know uh, take a look at this video and um, post in comments below what you think about that if you have any other questions please comment or message me and I'll do my best to answer it. So my tip number one is try to find an artist or a painting style that you really like. And it doesn't need to be complicated. Hear me out for a little bit and I will explain how to go about doing that. But the reason I'm, I consider this to be the number one tip is because if you already know the kind of painting that you like, and the kind of painting that you want to produce and start from there then it is much easier to stick through those initial phases where, where you know anybody is likely to have a lot more failures so uh, if you are able to um, you know it, it's it's recommended that um, spend some time trying to identify an artist or a painting style or a painting subject that you really like and you know how to go about doing that i mean all famous artists are these days on digital media so most have a website but even if not uh, most have like some sort of social media presence facebook instagram youtube anything so you can go to one of those mediums and try to search for like you know artist or oil painter or landscape artist or portrait artist basically anything that resonates with you that is the important thing something that resonates with you is likely to give you a lot more satisfaction in the long run so um you know browse through the artist or the paintings that come up uh, try to look through a sample from those artists and see if if you like that style and if you would like to learn that particular type of painting um, if you identify even one artist or even a group of such artists, then look for their websites and see if they already have a tutorial or a, a DVD or a book. Um, you know, most artists are more than happy to share their tips. And if you know the kind of artist or the art that you want to produce, um, then and if you if you can find a tutorial from that particular artist, then that is like the best starting point you can ever have. All right, tip number two. Um, and here in this tip, I'm going to share some of the easiest mediums to start with based on my personal experience. You know, I work in oil, pastels, charcoal, ink, uh, pen, um, watercolor, ink tents, and few more things that I try here and there every now and then. But um, based on my personal experience, as well as on the based on the feedback that I received from fellow artist friends, I've identified the three easiest medium for any beginner to start with are watercolor, acrylics, and color pencils. You know, uh, watercolor and acrylic are both water-based mediums, so you don't need a whole bunch of um, material uh, or to start with. And colored pencils are just that a box of colored pencils will do. So these are the three easiest color mediums for any beginners to start with. The least expensive in terms of not just the main painting material, but also accessories that go with it. 
so i'll probably do some videos in future um about some beginner trips for uh, these materials watercolor acrylic and colored pencil but for now i'm just gonna name them and ask you that you um, may want to just search through youtube tutorials and see if you like anything that helps you start in one of those mediums my tip number three is don't buy expensive canvases a lot of time people associate painting with canvas and then you know, when they want to start painting they just go and buy expensive canvases the problem with that approach is number one first of all canvas is expensive second thing um, when you don't know uh, what you want to do how you want to what style you want uh, you would be fearful of putting your paint on those canvases because a lot of money is involved there. So my tip number three is go for inexpensive uh, sketch pads and canvas pads. And I'll show you an example here. This is a, this is a sketch pad in toned gray. Um, but they are available in all sort of material, all sort of colors, all sort of background. And any material you want to use, any medium you want to use, whether it is watercolor, pastel oil painting i'll show you here um any any surface is available in form of a sketch pad so i'm going to show you here a canvas pad even canvas is available in form of a sketch pad so you see here this pad that has many canvases and it is available this one is 9 by 12 but it is available in many different sizes many different finishes so um not only they are inexpensive, they have a wide variety of sketch pads available and just playing and trying out different surfaces, different textures, different mediums will give you the bandwidth to really, um, you know, play, play with the colors and see what is really resonating with you, what it is. What is it that you are really enjoying? And because these are inexpensive, you will be less fearful of making a mistake and that's what really allows your creativity to blossom not having the fear of making mistake so those are my three trips for today uh, try it out and see uh, post in comment below or send me a message and let me know how how it goes for you thank you